with that preliminary data. Obviously, it comes out a press release. Full data not out there yet, but Pfizer saying the vaccine, the two dose, does not provide sufficient protection against Omicron, but they say that third dose does. What are your thoughts? Well, so those are laboratory studies. They're not actually protection studies. So, so what they found was that if you take Sera and it, from people who've been vaccinated with two doses of their mRNA vaccine, and then look to see whether that those antibodies neutralize the Omicron vir virus in the laboratory, they find that there's significantly reduced ability of those antibodies to neutralize the virus. But does that also mean that you're not protected? I think the critical question is, and this will hopefully be data that will be generated over the next two weeks, is if you receive two doses of the Pfizer vaccine or two doses of the Moderna vaccine or even just one or two doses of the J&J &J vaccine, are you protected against serious illness? I think the, the certainly early evidence is that you are, and that's what you care about. So we'll see how this plays out. But I, I, I think that, that what you probably can say from the Pfizer data is that if you've gotten two doses of vaccine, you may be somewhat less protected against asymptomatic infection or mildly symptomatic infection, but you're probably still likely protected against the kind of diseases that causes you to seek a doctor's uh, advice or go to the hospital. So the T cell data, the hybrid immunity data, the, the, you know, the people who've already been boosted, that information, that's not out there yet. And that's really what we need in order to make an informed decision on this. You know, I think in the end, the, the most, the best data are, are the real world, that real data. I mean, how does this play out in the real world? If, if you, you now that the Omicron variant is out there, it's been infecting now hundreds of people. I'm sure soon will be thousands of people. You, there are a lot of people out there who've been vaccinated. It shouldn't be that hard to figure out if you've been vaccinated and you're exposed to this virus, are you likely to have severe disease? We should be able to know that soon. And when we know that, then we'll know what we need to do about this uh, this variant in terms of boosting either with with the existing vaccine or boosting with an Omicron specific. Specific vaccine. Well, that, yeah, and does Omicron mean that first we need a booster for all or that we need to change, you know, how these boosters are done and make it specific to Omicron? Right, and that will learn over time. I think with, with these so-called in vitro studies, meaning laboratory studies, we tend to scare ourselves, but those those studies are designed to predict what happens in the real world. There's no better way than to, to get that information than to actually see what happens in the real world. I know they, uh, you know, the the makers, uh, Moderna and Pfizer, are saying that you know they're looking at the possibility of poss of, of changing things because we know that uh, you know this Omicron variant has uh, more than 30 different mutations on the spike. So you know, can we talk about what needs to happen? Do we need to change how we're doing these vaccines as this virus mutates, or can we stick with you know the science that we used in the beginning to fight this? Right. Well, right now, stick with the science we've used at the beginning. I mean, what's interesting is that, you know, the first variant, the, the, uh, the, the first virus, the Wuhan virus, is the virus to which all vaccines are made, even though that's not the virus that left China. And there's been three variants since then. And in every case, we've had protection against um, serious illness. I think that's also likely to be true here. So I would say calm down at the moment. Realize if you've gotten two doses of vaccine, you're probably likely to be protected against serious illness. And it also may be true that this virus is becoming less virulent, which is always sort of the goal of, of, of a uh, virus is to become more contagious and less virulent. It's never um, an advantage to the virus to kill you because then it can't reproduce itself or spread.